Hi, welcome to this episode of History Hunters. Today I'm visiting Santanella, California, and I'm going to tell you all about pea soup Andersons. Chances are that if you spent any time traveling up Highway 101 in California, in the Santa Barbara area, also along I-5 between San Francisco and Los Angeles, you probably know about this place. It's a very popular eatery. There's only two left in California, but it has a rich history. The restaurant that was started in 1924. We'll tell you all about it on this episode of History Hunters. place is known for their plywood cutouts where you can stand up behind and you can pretend to be the chefs Happy and Pee Wee right underneath this Danish windmill. So if you want to take your picture here at the cardboard cutout you just walk up on this step stick your head right through here Over here you see the traffic of I-5 traveling between San Francisco and Los Angeles. A lot of truck traffic. But behind the building is this sign facing the southbound traffic announcing that Pea Soup Andersons is the next exit. It's got a very Danish feel to it with the windmill up there actually turning. The original Andersons restaurant was founded in 1924 by Anton Andersen and his wife Juliet. Denmark-born Anton Andersen had received training in the restaurant business in Europe and New York City. Juliet was born in France. They purchased property in the small town of Bulton in Santa Barbara County, which had been settled by Danish immigrants. They opened a small restaurant and named it Andersen's Electrical Cafe in honor of their proudest possession, a new electric stove. After three months in business, pea soup was added to the menu, which was made from a recipe handed down through Juliet's family. Juliet's pea soup became the main attraction. In 1928, the Andersons added a hotel and dining room to the Buellton Cafe. After their son Robert had graduated from Stanford University in the 1930s, the couple turned the operation over to him. He used highway billboards to attract customers off of Route 101 between Santa Barbara and San Francisco and nicknamed himself Pea Soup Anderson, which became the name of the restaurant and business in 1947. The entire enterprise almost didn't happen when on January 12, 1937, Robert narrowly escaped death in the crash of a Western Air Express flight near Newhall, California. Five of the 13 people aboard died from injuries. Anderson recovered and later acquired the rights to a cartoon called Little Known Occupations, which showed comical chefs splitting peas with a hammer and chisel and turned them into the restaurant's mascots, Hat Pea and Pee Wee. The big fellow, Happy is shown having all the fun and the easy side of work as the little one, Pee Wee, holds a chisel looking sad and a bit frightened, always in danger of the big mallet. Robert Anderson retired from the restaurant business and sold the restaurant in 1965 to World War II hero turned actor Vince Evans. Evans was a bombardier on the famous Memphis Bell B-17. He developed a miniature train, aviary, and even a small wild animal park on the Bulton property but they were demolished in 1970 to make room for a Danish-themed motel. Evans opened the Santanella location in 1976, and he had grand plans to expand operations when on April 23, 1980, both he, his wife, and daughter were killed in a small plane crash near Santa Inez. While they're primarily known for their pea soup, they serve complete home-style meals. Both locations include a bakery and a gift shop, and there's a hotel over there that it looks very Danish as well. They also market their line of canned soups if you don't want to make it yourself. Right now there's even people arriving for lunch. It's not a Friday. It's a popular place and the pea soup is very good. So throughout the many years of operation, Pea Soup Anderson has offered the Traveler Special, which is all you can eat pea soup. And it was estimated in 2012 that they serve between 500 and 600 gallons of pea soup every day. And I'm not sure if that's between the two locations or just a single location, 
It's about lunchtime, and I'm thinking about having a bowl of soup myself, show you what the inside of it looks like, and also check out the gift shop. Check out the chandeliers too, that's pretty cool. These kind people are fans of History Hunters. What's your name? Doris. Doris? And? Steve. Steve. So why do you like coming to Pea Soup Anderson's? Uh, the pea soup and uh, <laughs> meatloaf sandwiches and um, yeah, just a good uh, good food and nice place with a um, nice location. Cool. Yeah. So you guys are driving from up north, from Paradise, California, to uh, yep, uh, Thousand Oaks. Thousand Oaks. Cool. Yeah. Well, <laughs> fans of history hunters, we bumped into here in Santa <laughs> Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Big fans. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go have my bowl of soup right now. So they have a map in here and it shows Buellton right here. This is where the original restaurant is, just up from Santa Barbara. And if you come up here, Santa Nella would be right in here. That's where the restaurant is. So when you come into Pea Soup Anderson's and have a delicious bowl of pea soup, you get to eat it in this kind of bowl. Sarah has been wanting one of these and they're kind of pricey at $25, but I think I'll buy one for her because she couldn't be on this trip. So I ate a bowl and a half of soup, plus all of the buns that they gave me. It's all I could fit in my stomach. It was delicious, piping hot. So you have to wait a couple of minutes to enjoy your hot bowl of soup. But this episode of History Hunters was a particularly good one for me because I got to meet some fans that were traveling up I-5. But I want to thank you for joining us on this episode of History Hunters. And next time you're in Santa Noah, stop by for some pea soup. Mm -hmm.